Today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about an aspect of producing a creative vibe by simply hanging a picture on the wall. I remember when I was younger, I would plaster my wall with different magazine covers because of the vibe, the energy, the aesthetic, or even too sometimes the visuals of something I wanted to aspire to. Back in 2016, a dope photographer named Naska Demi partnered up with a group called Shopify to host a curated event called Hang Your Pictures on My Wall. In this event, he had three main activations. One, a photo gallery. Two, a vintage magazine collection. And three, a bedroom. You see, we tend to hang pictures on the wall to create almost like a sense of imagination. Making sure that you're consistently inspired is important as a video creator, but the question is, what actually inspires you? Where do you find these mediums, venues, activities of inspiration? Trying to find people or learn more about this process of discovering what inspires me, I attended this local event hosted by a group called Five Artists One Love that was showcasing and highlighting a series of visual artists and their work. If you can't find a scene or there is no scene, make a scene. And that was sort of the, uh, the driving force um, of us uh, at the beginning. Come once and uh, I guarantee you'll be back again. It's like having a, a huge bowl of soul. And then you throw in some African seasoning and some Caribbean spices, a little bit of North American flavor and attitude. And then you serve it to people that are hungry for something like this. And it's absolutely satisfying. The show Five Artists One Love was showcasing really awesome, cool visual artists where one particular artist that had a heavy illustrator technique and hand started to resonate a lot with me. I ask questions, especially because I put a lot of little tiny details in there that represent various parts of our black history. You know, one of my illustrations, three of the illustrations cover heroes, cover covers, you know, the passage of slavery. One of them covers the music that made us. After learning more about Kyle's work process, his inspiration, his sense of storytelling, I was able to sort of see how both of our work, even though it's in different mediums, were aligned. And through that alignment, I was watching his work through diving deeper into his visuals, a better sense of inspiration but I wanted to kind of reflect and understand better what is the correlation of artwork to end of the day, the work that I'm trying to do as a business owner, as a content creator. I started to see sort of a series of dots being connected that in my work, in your work, one of the biggest challenges that we have at times is this notion of inspiration. I was to invest in artifacts, pictures, would that then map to me being able to come closer at a faster rate, creating better work? Going back into my studio, I decided of hanging these illustrations in order to start the process of dialing in my imagination and giving myself more tools to break through that glass ceiling that we sometimes put on ourselves because of our spaces and environments. I now have a zone, a space. I have a place to really begin to focus on the work versus my own glass ceiling being in the way of the work I'm trying to create. So if you're still in the process of trying to create a vibe with lights, you gotta check out this next video right here.